My name is Adam Porzak with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today we have a cool opportunity, you guys. We're taking a look at a young stud, Tyler Kowak. This guy absolutely annihilates the golf ball, swinging nearly 120 at just the ripe age of 16. We're gonna be working on sinking his hips and his hands up to the top, being more connected at the top of his swing, which is only gonna bring more control and more distance to this young guy's game. Can't wait for you guys to take a closer look. Please like, comment, and subscribe. school golf is that opportunity for you to do so right because we got big tournaments right that's exactly right we got big tournaments that we're preparing for for the summer and well, spring and summer but high school golf is an opportunity for you to take it deep right yeah okay with that being said I know it's annoying to hear but we got to stay patient you are swinging better um, do you want to start off doing a couple drills right away with what we know we need to do better yeah okay cool I figured you would go to the set position Good. Now just body to the top. And you're just trying to keep your butt back and rotate, correct? Exactly. Exactly. See, I like that because go back again. Here's a nice thing. Go back to the set position, actually. Yeah, so when you're right here, you need to remember to try to get your hands right back to this spot through impact, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing that's been off a little bit in the last couple of weeks. Is typically, show me where you'd be coming down. So you're back there. Exactly. exactly, and it just gets a little bit outside, right? Mm -hmm. If we can get back to that same spot, so just be simple with what you're working on. Get to the set position, all body, right back to the set position. It's gonna feel like you're taking three-quarter swings right now. Exactly. Should I do a swing like that? Yeah, let's just hit some shots like that. But you do just stop at one spot. The only spot you're stopping is your set position, okay? okay. Beautiful. I mean, Tyler, the thing I wanted to start with you today with was you, when I think of your golf swing, it's like pretty clear for me what needs to happen, right? And you, and you too. Yeah. It's after we set the club, let's not do much more other than just simply turn our arms to the top. Okay. Body's done turning, arms done moving. That right elbow really stays in place, doesn't drift, correct? Yeah. The next one. Let's just try to get the hands back down to the same spot they were right here with the same space they had right here yeah. and not cr you know, crowd, crowd ourselves, which gets the club swinging out. So, but that's the go-to drill to cure that. Yeah. All right. One rehearsal and then go. By the way, straight shots today have way. yeah have been have been about 15 to 20 yard <laughs> cuts because the wind's been coming so hard out of the left. It's a tough win for some people out here today for everybody really. But you know, that's a great lesson in itself. Think of how much discipline it's gonna to take today to sit here and aim at the white flag, knowing that if we hit a five yard draw, it's still gonna go 15 right, 10 right. And here you are working on what? Not swinging left. Yeah. Of all days to have to work on that, when the wind's coming 20 off the left, that's not the easiest time to do that. So it is going to take discipline today. One thing I appreciate right away is let's take a look at these divots. Mm -hmm. We have right down the yellow rod if we match that. I mean, those are about as parallel as it gets right there. So that's a good sign. And it's shallow too, not too deep from where we've been in the past, correct? Yeah. Good stuff. That's a good sign that you're on plane. So I'll get the iPad here. We'll take a little video. And I'm not saying this for him to hype his swing speed up, but Gabe, by the way, this guy was at Callaway getting fit for his clubs. 16 years old and is swinging 117. So Tyler can absolutely annihilate the golf ball. <laughs> With that being said, stay within yourself. <laughs> it's like, that is. That is. <laughs> exactly. See what I like is I, I like how that set position Gets the club set so you're done with it. You can simply just turn up to the top. 
Oof, man. I don't know, yeah, if the camera could do that ball flight justice right there. I like you setting the club like that because typically what we if, if we ever made a mistake, we always drag the little low one in. Absolutely. So I'm I'm okay with you always rehearsing that a little bit on the extreme, knowing that when you take your typical swing, your normal swing, I should say, that's not going to happen. So you get it back to the same spot you normally would, more along that right forearm. And here's the thing, you know, I'd like you to really when you do these drills you're pretty much done right there, you know, keeping that right elbow in front of you. Yeah. Um, it wants to get a little bit longer. You can see, but you know what? I think it's going to be a heck of a lot better coming down. See, that's more underneath your shoulder and yeah. see how we're getting that. That's way better right there. Your sequence is a ton better. So nice job on that, buddy. Um, oh, yeah, Tyler, overall, that is a ton better than what we were just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, I can pull up a video from even two weeks ago to where our hands would be more out here and the club would be much more on that top forearm right there. Mm -hmm. um, and the path would have been a lot more left through impact. So you're actually swinging underneath you more. And I think you're doing a fantastic job to see your head's not coming up. Yeah. And I think you're, you, you, that's, that's a tremendous difference from what, look at you, bud. Staying down. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you know what? You're doing a ton better just for the drill. Let's trim down the length of the golf swing, okay? Sure. All right, buddy. That's good. Good. Oh, and you know what's funny about that one? Did you see how that one really, until late in the ball flight, it was holding a dead straight line? Yeah, even the wind wasn't messing with that. That was the most connected of any that of any today so far. Oh my. Dude, that's so good. And Tyler, when you hit it that well, I hate to even step in, but I know you, and I know you demand that I always tell you everything in perfection, right? So I'm at least gonna tell you what you should do when you do that drill better. One thing you wanna refrain from doing is over-rotating the hips early. Yeah. You always talk about it, I always talk about it to you. Don't get here to where everything then gets behind you early and that's where the arms and hands will get behind you at the top. If this stays a little bit more still, and to be exact, uh, a great way to, to visualize it is to, if to the set position, the, the right hip is only, the hips are only turning about one fourth of the way that they're going to, yeah. and then about three fourths of the way to the top. And that, that will keep the hands more out in front of your body, and then use the body to move the hands to the top which will keep everything shorter and more out in front of you. Yeah. So one fourth of the hip rotation to the set position and then use the majority of it to get to the top. Okay. That'd be the only thing that I would tell you to do a little bit better. I just feel like a little less with I the hips. Rotate my hips less when I get to the absolutely, and then, and then turn them, them, absolutely. Does it make sense also that for you, when your hip over rotates and then the arms lift independently, the hips been there for so long, stalled out that what is it now going to do? Is the arms are going to the top? It's going to turn over. It's going to turn over and get out in front, and mm -hmm. there it all is. There's the there's the lack of sequencing sometimes, right? Yeah. You could go around the golf course with that golf swing and probably shoot 65 just as easily as you could with the, with the regular full swing, dude. Still a fun swing. Hey, can you do me a favor? Just because it seems like we might be getting a little bit more of this weather this week and you're playing some big matches, mm -hmm. um, let's flight some down. Okay. You know, I know we're working on the drill, but let's really take that ball flight down. And, you know, what are we going to do to do that? Uh, first, I'm going to bring the shaft forward a little bit. Okay. And I, I like to put it a little bit back in my stance. Okay. And then I feel like I just keep the, the hands lower and kind of like 
pull them through and pack more, and that gets us another level. I like the thought for you swinging shoulder to shoulder, right? So mm -hmm. if you were to go back in your backswing, like when you come through, you're, you're finishing underneath the iPad here, yeah, right? Like exactly, exactly. And a little hold off shot. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think immediately. Let me, let me kind of give you a little more clarity to it. A little closer to the ball, a little narrower stance, choking down a little, and then swinging shoulder to shoulder. And I always say that knockdown mentality, right? That little bit of a punch into the ground that we need to have, okay. that I know you have. Oh, that and that's where we wish we had the shot tracker there for, uh, yeah. for the camera because that Tyler basically just took out two thirds of his ball flight as far as the height. Completely different. Completely different. And by the way, that ball only blew about a yard right, right there because of underneath the wind. I was about to tell you, listen to the sound of this golf shot. Mm. Look at that ball flight. Yeah. And, and, and Tyler, honest to God, that is what you need more of. You know, we, we need to do a lot more of just that in general. in general. I mean, that's not even just today. We were talking about that out there on the um, golf course last week, that if we bring that ball flight down, it's more like throwing a dart directly at the target rather than you know, it's not going to be the way we throw that dart consistently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially with your speed, buddy. If we keep that ball flight down, whew, so much more accurate. That was the first one where we just got a little out of sequence, right? Yeah. You feel yourself jump from the top a little bit? Yeah, and then I also got a little bit over again. Absolutely. Yeah, Gabe, okay, maybe you can get underneath there and get that ball flight. Yeah. I got some really cool ones with Tiffany the other day on 18. You could see the entire flight. Let's see, to me, even though I know you and I know you did not catch that golf ball the way you wanted to, did you see how much better that ball flight was? Yeah. I mean, so much better, Tyler. Just keep it tight at the top. You know, and I hate telling you this, but it feels like you have to take five to 10 yards off the swing, every swing you make, mm -hmm. because it just keeps it so much more under control. All right. I think it's gonna help you control your ball flight better. Here we go. That's beautiful. And that wind right there for that ball flight to hold like that is unbelievable. I mean, that's fantastic right there. And the cool thing is you're doing that without putting any draw spin on it. That's the unbelievable part. A couple more with the drill and then we'll take some swings, okay? Money right there. That was beautiful right there, dude. Really, really good. Nice. Awesome. Normal swings? Yeah. So. Let's go start another lineup there. We hope you guys enjoyed that lesson with Tyler as much as we did. Man, does he bomb the golf ball. It's really fun to watch. Please leave any comments or questions you guys have below. We'd be more than happy to answer those for you. We're here for you to make it better. Click the link in our description and pick up your free video course. Thank you guys so much.